Allah, all praises unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakak Wadash, is Raya Bibangai, Zealous Israel Ministry, and uh, I want to uh, just send this out to you, brothers and sisters. Um, I've been going through, you know, a lot as far as, um, you know, family things, getting sick, um, you know, flu, sick family, you know, have, having to help my family out, um, you know, uh, sewage problems, I damn near almost lost my hand the other week, please pray for you, pray for your brother, I've had uh, internet issues, I've um, had some things I had to get done, but um, Lord willing, I'll be back with some videos this week, um, love y'all brothers and sisters, stay strong and true, call on y'all, by Shem Yashai, Shalom. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, your fellow believers of this faith. Shalom to you, other brethren and followers and believers of this ministry. Shalom to you, sisters as well, and shalom to the elect. Anyway, I got this a comment from this Jake. The zealots of Israel ministry, you know, <laughs> the zealots. So I guess he's thinking he has, I guess he does have a ministry. It doesn't mean it's a righteous one, right? But this guy left me a comment on a video I've done. I'm not going to go into the video. And you notice these guys make these comments that really has nothing to do with the video on hand, but they'll link whatever comment to come against the doctrine you're pushing you GMS are false prophets uh, he did this wrong and he did that wrong you know just going into the video critiquing the video but not even going into what the actual video was about not even literally <laughs> looking at the whole video they'll just take a clip listen to it and yes I'm going to get GMS <laughs> now this guy took a three month break and decided to come back a couple of weeks ago, right? But on his break, he decides when he come back after his hand damn near falls off. <laughs> after the, the scripture said, pray not for these people. That's talking about you wicked Israelites. But anyway, after his hand damn near falls off, and he catches all kind of viruses and flus, right? His only thing then is to come to a brother's channel, somebody else's channel, and scoff. You can't help it, man. The Lord made you that way. That's just who you are. If you're a scoffer, you were bred to be a scoffer. You're only reincarnated and <clears throat> coming back in your Z lot, right? <laughs> That's what you're coming back in, your lot, to do what the Lord set you up to do. And this is sad business, man. This man doesn't go out and teach. At least I don't see no videos of him teaching. He used to be with somebody before, but I guess I don't see them anymore. He's abandoned. He's on his own. He's lonely. He's going on brother's pages and just scoffing because he wants attention like a, a little girl that wants candy. You know, those type of things. He's bug outs. That's what they do. But anyway, he's talking about his hand about to fall off, right? <laughs> his hand's about to fall off. You better pay take heed to the judgment of the Lord. Judgment must begin at the house of the Lord, man. House of Israel. Right? You better be take heed. To all that damn scoffing you doing, man. John 10 and 13. Therefore have no temptation taken such that is common to man. This man uh, apologizing to the flock. Now, when you look at the sheep, and you're a shepherd, which this guy's no real shepherd. And if he is one, he's a wicked one, right? If you're looking at a sheep, if you got an animal in a house, you can't take a three-month break. Even though that animal, even though you might be sick, if it's just you and that animal, you got to get up and feed that dog, man, or that cat. You got to get up and still feed them. You can't take some three-month hiatus and, yeah, my hand about to fall off. Even if you got to do like a 30-second video. But you know the video he does? He puts a video up explaining his miseries and his woes. So the congregation can feel sorry for him and why he never got back up and did a video after taking those breaks but now he wants to try to get back on fire right 
because of the ministry, he may be losing money. I don't know. I can't say that. Right? It says, um, but Yahweh is faithful, faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Now, Yahweh himself suffered, man. He got whipped and spat on and bruised and hung on that cross. And he knew it was coming. And he didn't quit. He kept going. Just like uh, uh, Yahweh Shah was talking about the, <clears throat> the sower. Right? You turn, you plow, if you turn and look it back, you ain't fit for the kingdom, man. This man, you're going to tell me all those months, you couldn't use your Android phone unless you was in some goddamn coma. And then you got to con be concerned if the Lord is with you, if you're not able to be a shepherd. Right. You couldn't do a, a, a damn two-minute video? We know you ain't going out. We know you're too weak to go out and teach. So we understand that. Anyway. It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Right? The Lord said, take up your cross and follow after him. I remember I was sick. I had flus. I had all kinds of stuff, man. I had a, some throat infection and I, I lost my voice. And I literally still got up and tried to do a video. I had to keep stopping and pausing and scratching my voice to do it. Maybe that was a bit over-righteous. But the, the fire was on me to keep continue to feed the sheep, man. When you, Like I said, when you're in a house and that dog needs to be fed or that animal, the sheep, whatever needs to be fed, you can't fall asleep and roll over and say, nah, or you got to have somebody come in and feed the sheep for you. Right? You got to have brothers upload brothers videos then if that's the case. Other videos to constantly feed the sheep. But you ain't no shepherd, man. You a reprobate. You don't have it. Right? You just ain't got it. You ain't got it. Anyway, let's go to John 10 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling will not uh, uh, and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not see if the wolf coming and leave if the sheep you know what happened man this guy he got sick and now he his hand got glued back on or something <laughs> and now he's back in the fire that he's, he's supposed to be been in all along these guys are just rebel Christian Israelites that want to make a name for themselves that want to follow him. That's all. They don't care about the sheep. They don't care about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They all just want to make a name. They want to put the braces and uh, buckles around their foreheads, right? And wear this special leather garment so that so that uh, the sheep can be tantalized, right? By that look, right? <laughs> By that look. Anyway. <laughs> It says, um, the hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. That's what happened. I am the good shepherd and uh, and know my she and know my sheep, right? And am known of mine. As if the Father knoweth me, even so uh, I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd right not a whole bunch of doctrines man that's why you read the, the beginning when he goes into it the sheep hears the Lord's voice see it's beautiful because the Lord set up so many different shepherds right just for you to be led to these false doctrines so these people that follow these false doctrines Right? That's because the Lord led him to it. He can't get mad at this guy. This guy has been set up to be a reprobate. Right? Uh, Matthew 24. Watch therefore. Ye know not uh, what hour your Lord doth come. But know this. That if a good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come. He would have watched. 
and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. So what if the Lord returned? What if the mark came out? All it was they don't believe that either. All these things came out, things happened over a three month uh peace tour, right? Then what? Then what? Now what the shepherd's supposed to do? What it is the flock and the sheep is supposed to do now? That's why he compared it with the, sh uh, the shepherd uh, to the sheep. You're set up. You're supposed to be set up to feed the sheep. Well, most of the sheep done died because they done starved over three months. Just like it was some guys who was in our camp. They branched off. And they wanted to be their own shepherds. Right? And they had a whole bunch of followings because they was cursing out Edom. And that's what it was about. These people want a name. Well, he called me one day and said he got tired and he quit. So what happened to the sheep? They scattered. They scattered. So we do videos like this to persuade the sheep to hear the Lord's voice, man. If you ain't, if you ain't talking about the prophecies and you ain't on right with doctrine, then... You know, you ain't right. The scripture says sound doctrine, which sound goes to healthy, whole doctrine. Anyway, Luke eleven twenty four. The scriptures also said go out to the highways and hedges. This guy's too much of a coward, man. He's not going to do that. The cowardly lion. Luke eleven twenty four. When an evil spirit has come out of a person. This is another translation, God word translation, I think. It goes through dry places, knowing, looking for a place to rest, trying to find somewhere else to go. But if it doesn't find any, then it says, I'll go back home where I left. <laughs> this guy knew the truth, right? When it comes, it finds the house swept and clean and in order. Then a spirit goes and bring along seven other spirits more evil than itself. They enter, uh, uh, they enter and take up, up permanent residence there. So the one spirit comes back and say, ah, you know, it's swept and it's all right. Swept and in order. Then it says, you know what, I'm going to get seven more. But guess what? You're not a watchman, you know, over your temple. And, and if the spirit's not there to, to watch over you, them seven demons going to come, them seven spirits going to come more wicked than the ones that, the one that left. It, it actually, what it's saying is the spirit went and got more, more ammo. It says the spirit goes and bring along seven more spirits, more evil than itself. You know, they enter in and take up permanent residence there, right? And the end, the condition of that person is worse than it was before. So this is what happens. This is what a reprobate is. A reprobate, you'll have the evil spirit that's gone out of the man just to go get more spirits and come in and make you worse than what you were. Right? It's like having a bad tenant. You kick the bad tenant out, and then the tenant, you let the tenant back in, and they'll bring a whole family of tenants more worse than themselves, and they'll come in your house and destroy your whole goddamn house. That's what's happening with this guy. He then took up seven more spirits, more uh, harsh than himself, right? And that's why he's in the condition, you know, he is with his hand falling off, you know, and all these things that's happening. I don't know, sewage issues and what the hell is going on with this Jake, man?